But here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. But here's the deal, all kidding aside. Most cops don't like bad cops. Because here's the story about corruption. Do you know anything about it? Nope. You part you part of it? Nope. You trying to cover it up? Nope. Oh, okay. What you should be doing is try to bridge the gap. So they're closing the door. See that? Because they know that the fake news is not really going to tell the whole truth. So we all know that. They don't want the real news. So, but I see that this, um, he's a PIO. Excuse me, sir, PIO. We're going to talk to this. Excuse me, PIO. PIO, are you the public information officer? I am. Okay. All right, sweet. Look how disdain he is to the public. Look, he got in his phone. Hey, I'll take a and, phone call. I'll and he just asked me, what do you. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Look at it. This is what I mean about bridging the gap between the citizens and the public and the cops. The citizens and the cops. Bridge that gap, bro. Bridge it. Look. Have you, have you seen everything that's over there? The what? Have you seen everything that's over there? You want me to give you a tour? Uh, sure. 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 He offered a tour, so let's, let's, let's um... Uh, let's see. Uh, let me, uh, all right, he's offering a tour, so let's go and um, check it out. All right. Uh, all right. So let's check this this artifact here, this display here. Tell me what you guys think. Well, yeah, sure. You give me a tour. What is exactly that you like no, the no, citizen you can, to? You can go. Look, check this out. Well, what is so this the? Is, this is one of our retired motorcycles. Okay. You can see all the stuff that we have here back from when it used to be the police department, and then it merged. Uh, merged to. Department, and now it's the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. You can see some of the old equipment here, some of the traffic units, their helmets, and everything that they used to have. Yeah, some of the badges. The old badges cool. here. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree on you on that. Uh, old guns back in the 1900s. Uh, because this is part of the old west, the correct? No, oh, what what Nevada, where it started, I think it was what, 18, 1900s when it was free state? Yeah, you're right. That so this is the old, the old west. Old, mm -hmm. old, right, the old west? So, uh, so yeah, so he's correct about that. I don't disagree with him. So, where are you from? Originally, yeah, United States of America. No, I mean, like, like I'm from LA. Just Originally, LA, yeah. South Central. Me too, Huntington Park, Bell Gardens, bro. That's pretty close, right? Bell Gardens. I've I been here for 14 uh, years, bro. You know, the what was that mall? If you would go down on not Florence, it was well, like, Firestone, down there. Down the mall. Down. Oh yeah, uh, that's that like the closest. Thing. Firestone, Firestone, and uh, Bell Flower Boulevard. I can't remember. Yeah. I've been here for fourteen years, and I pretty much uh, trying to remember uh, Downey. But I think the Downey Mall is on Firestone and Bell Flower Boulevard. Yeah, I remember. I would go down Florence, then you hang it left. Because it turns it. Imperial Highway. I think because you pass in, the Gallo Hito, you know that. Remember that? Right. Well, Gallo Hito is in Huntington Park, Florence and Pacific Boulevard. No, no, no. Gallo Hito is like a restaurant. Yeah, I, I know. That's the famous one in Huntington Park. It's yes. on Florence and Pacific Boulevard. Yes, yes. It's it right like, in the corner, and it's still like, there. It's like a boardwalk, right? Of stores. I think it started. Well, it is. Well, the uh, Pacific Boulevard is the boardwalk of all the shops there. Mm -hmm. Like the Callejones, like that. That's what yeah. the Pacific not like, Boulevard. Not like the Callejones that are I understand. Um, by La Placito Vera and all that. No, I don't know. But I mean, I'm just trying to fit a description of it. Yeah, yeah. But that is the the uh, the boulevard of all the stores there. And it ends right there at Florence and Pacific Boulevard. And then you and then when you pass Florence, you start getting to Linwood. Yes. Linwood. Yes. So, yeah. So, yeah, bro. So, anyways. But, yeah, that's where I'm from, bro. I'm from L.A. Yeah. I pretty know... If I go back, I'll remember exactly I know where to go. 
you know, but I try, always try to remember, um, even though I've been here for 14 years, bro. Yeah. But this is what, where the, uh, I want to get to the nitty gritty, bro. Uh, and these are the hard questions that law enforcement, they just can't answer the questions of the citizen that's asking to. And, uh, and I quiz law enforcement. I truly do. Um, the first one I want to tell you, how long you been a uh, law enforcement for Las Vegas? Nine Michigan? years. Okay, so you're not considered a rookie. Uh, no, I think, no I think be... you're not. You're <laughs> seasoned. I would say seasoned. Right, seasoned? Yeah. Seasoned. Um, I feel old. Well, you guys have the bars every three years. You get the four, every four or, years. Okay. So I have two. Too, okay, so there you go. See that? Get it again so yeah, they, so they, so yeah, so. But anyways, you've been along for for nine years. You took an oath to defend, protect, and uphold the Bill of Rights that, that you sort. If you don't know, be honest. But don't just blatantly respond with "I'm not gonna play your games" or walk away. I'm not gonna answer you. The American people don't want to hear that. The American people want to hear the truth. The American people want to, the law enforcement agencies across America, be transparent, be honest. Because us, the taxpayers of Las Vegas and Clark County, we, so we look up to you. We want to look up and, be tr and trust you guys and bridge that gap. Right? So now my question is going to, because I know you're waiting for my question, so I'm, gonna, so, I'm, so I'm going to ask you, can you tell my viewers, what are the first five elements of the First Amendment that you sort of protect? Um, for the First Amendment? Yes, there's okay. five elements to okay. the First Amendment. Maybe, if you can please maybe I know a version of it differently. You don't look you don't have to don't word by word. Let me maybe not word, word by word. I'll give you what briefly. I just okay. brief. That's all it is. Uh, just brief. Is it around like speech? Is that what you're talking about? Right? Speech. Look, uh, I'm giving them okay, that's one. Press. Right? Do so you see that? I'm live, bro. Look. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm so I'm bro. Okay. Uh speech, the press. All right. Uh we're talking about maybe along the lines of transparency or records or something like that, no? No, come on, throw me a ball. All right, so I'm gonna give you the the first three. Mm -hmm. Press. So I got press. Yes. Okay. Speech. Uh, press, speech, mm -hmm. religion. Okay. What are the last two? So okay, so you're talking about protected activities that are just briefly. You don't have to know word by word or verbatim. Just briefly, what are the five elements of the first? Uh, one? I gave you three of them. What about protesting? So see, there you go. See, that's four. That's four. In, in that's four. That's four. Okay. Just brief, bro. I don't need no, you to no, tell no. me verbatim. Just no, brief. No, no, no. It's just, it's, uh, you need one more. There's one more. So, yeah, that's one of them. Give me the other one. I gave you three. I gave you three. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you three. Okay. The last one is to petition the government. Okay. That's the, five, the, that's the five of them, bro. Uh, what does that mean to you? What? Like petition the government. Like to ask questions? Is that what you mean? Okay. You're the PIO. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you? Uh, your title is a PIO, correct? That's correct. your title, but I know you're law enforcement. What exactly is your job as a PIO, bro? Well, um, coordinating with the media. If there's ever, if there's ever like a press conference, right? Um, any information that gets pushed out, uh, whether there's like an active event going on. So those, those are those are things. Can I please stop you there? Okay. Do you, as me, practicing my First Amendment right now, freedom of the press, why was I limited to go inside the media? That's for credential media. Okay. And can I ask you, when you say credential, can you be more specific? Uh, credential, uh, like, because the First Amendment doesn't say that I have to have credentials. There's no state law that says that a citizen has to have credentials to practice the freedom of the press or the First Amendment. So what makes them different from me? Keep Are they... Your media uh, <laughs> right, our invites at credential media, the, do you have... Can I see your credentials? What channel the do you first, with? I'm independent. Oh, independent. Okay. So 
But what I'm trying to say is that what makes them diff, diff, are they higher than the citizens? Nobody's saying that. It's just for credential media, right? Affiliating with what media outlet? I'm just asking. Which do you, media you guys are hearing that, right? Uh, viewers, <laughs> what he's saying about the First Amendment that he swore to protect and defend because the First Amendment, freedom of the press, mm -hmm. there's never been a license or credential. The only time they issue credentials is for the company that you work for. That's, that's all it is. But there's no law or county ordinance, code, municipal code, that says that a citizen needs a press pass to be able to practice his first or her first amendment. Does it say that nowhere? That's why when I, I understand when law enforcement said, well, where's your press pass? Well, here it is. What is that? First amendment. Is that your channel? No, this is my press pass. Look, this is, look guys, this is my press pass here. And he's asking me if I have a press pass. But I'm, I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. Are they higher than, it, than the regular citizen like me? Nobody has that, I mean, Nobody's there, kicked you out of no, being with the camera. Well, right? I was trying to go in and cover what you guys are talking about because what what it is is that the transparency, bro. Transparent. We want you guys to be admit the citizen to go in there to see what you guys are talking about. What is it you guys are? We're not. So let me ask you this. We're, we uh, officer, press conference. officer, Vidal. officer, officer, yeah, I said it, Vidal. Oh, Vidal. Yeah. Can I go in there and record my public officials to see what they're talking about? No. You hear that, you guys? He, he just said no because... Right. That's for your media because because Somebody he asked you for your media credentials, right? No, we did. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't yeah. know. You were having a conversation. No, I, I just came over here. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You're, I, you're, I, you're I out know. here recording. Nobody's telling you to leave. So I'm like, hey, look, there's some good but, content here in case you want to know a little bit more about Metro. But why is this more? Is this more important than in there? What are you talking? About? Here, here. You're, you were complaining that nobody's talking to you. I'm talking to you. No, I'm no, I want. I, but I wanted to go inside to see what you guys are talking about. Transparency. It's all about transparency. The word that I'm emphasizing is transparency. Mm -hmm. I want to know what you guys are talking about. What kind of story are you guys relating to the to the news here? Yeah. Why can't you relate that news to a citizen that's practicing the First Amendment that you guys sort of protect? And I'm doing that. And right now you're looking at you're looking at me, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, but yet, I'm not gonna ignore you. But yeah, but yet. But yet, you're asking me uh, questions, right? But you, I was interacting with you. It's like hello to you, and I appreciate I that. And I, not I, I appreciate that. I don't that. have to talk to you, right? I, because I'm being nice, right? <laughs> but okay, what I'm saying is that so it, there's, there's nothing gluing us to a conversation. If you wanted to walk away right now, you could walk away. If I have to go do something else, I can go so, do something else, right? And what, <laughs> and there's nothing funny about that. I'm just because I'm, 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 I'm being courteous to you. I'm talking to you. I showed you something. But let me ask you this. Are you above the citizen that's paying you? Nobody said that. Because you're saying that I don't have to talk to you. No, I, I, I don't. Because, because you, were, you earlier I ever heard that you're saying that nobody was talking to you or something along the nature of I don't know what was going on there, right? I you're was, hearing I was doing this. You guys are hearing else. this, right? I was doing something else. I'm being nice to you. I'm talking to you. But I'm you, not, I'm not let me ask you this, you. And, and, and let me ask you, and let me point out what you just said. So you said, "I'm being nice." Is that a requirement from your department, or or it's not a requirement from your department? To be courteous. Yes. I think everybody's courteous. No, no, no. I'm asking in your official capacity. You're working. You have a badge. You have a gun. You're working. You're not a private citizen right now. Are you required to interact with the public? Be courteous, respectful at all times. And identify yourself when asked by a citizen. Have you seen our department? Yes or no? I just want to. Just, Have you seen our department goals, right? I just want just. Right. Yes or no? I'm just telling you that. See that, viewers? I'm being, courteous <laughs> to you. I'm being nice to you. I'm not gonna ignore you. I'm not gonna walk away from. But you. is that? I'm being nice to you. So is that re is that required through Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department policy? To what? To be courteous. We we have to be courteous, right? But I gotta get back to that. But. We're part of courteous. If you want to know what you're the PI, you're okay. You're <laughs> courteous, I can never get things done here because they're always 
there's always something going on. But anyways, what do you guys think, man, about this conversation? What do you guys think, man? All right, so I'm looking. Okay, ask them about the constitution. Ask them why they say constitutional policing at every press conference. It's a press conference about officers involved. Sh oh, well, get out of here, bro. For reals? Oh, that's crazy. Wow, that's crazy, bro. So I guess all these um, big corporations, um, ABC News 13, Fox 5, Univision. Uh, what else did I see? I saw, I think, um, uh, WC is here. So there, there, you got a lot of big corporations here. Um, you got a lot of big corporations here that the PIO, the PIO believes that that there are real press. They're the real press, and I'm not the real press. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? That they're they're the real press, but I'm not. Oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> so, uh, oh, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. And we're gonna interact again with Vidal because he's a public information officer. All right, so anyway, back to, um, all right, so back to, um, to my money that I was trying to retrieve, I guess my next step is to, um, my next step is to go to the court and file a motion to be able to retrieve my money. Cause I'm not, I'm gonna have to have the judge force them and compel them to release my money. That's the next step. So, see how Vidal is closing the door, opening the door. He doesn't want me to, to see and look inside uh, in the media, in the media room. See how he's opening the door, closing it. So. So yeah. So what do you guys think, man? Okay. Fist bumping. Fist bumping. Metro. So, so yeah. hey, uh, Officer Vidal. He didn't respond back to me. So. The lobby closes at four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah. Lobby closes at 4.30. I was trying to ask him a question. But, uh, I guess he's not responding. Let's go talk to him. Let's see if I can file a public records request. <coughs> hey, uh, Officer Vidal. Yes, sir. How do I go about filing public records requests in person? I want to do it here. So you're the PIO. Uh, I want to make the request with you. Um, we have a public records unit for that. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. 
So, um. Did you have money in your pocket? Somebody huh? dropped the dollar over there. Did you have money in your pocket? Money? Yeah. No, did you have money? In your oh, yeah, I'm money. showing you money. No, <laughs> Well, probably mine because I'm passing by. But anyways, can I make a public records request? It's all online. Huh? It's all online. Public records. It's all online. LVMPD.com. It goes all through the portal. So, so that way you can log all your requests. Okay. So nobody can make the request in person? Online. It's all online. I told you to make it hard for a citizen to do it. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you, they make it so hard, bro. Online, online, everything gotta be online, bro.